Hey, ready? Yeah, I'm in my compost uh, pile and where I'm storing my crap. <laughs> Soon to be hidden by my uh, Jerusalem artichokes. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna make this quick today because I'm, uh, well, I was sick all day yesterday. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, you know, not feeling that good today. It's gonna be, I guess, a, uh, I'm gonna be sitting down and um, probably just um, weeding. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I found some, uh, once again, some compost potatoes growing in my compost. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, they're growing from, um, I guess, little peels I threw in the compost and they started growing. So, I'm going to put these in the seaweed. Uh, I got an extra bucket that's, um, you know, for experiments. And, uh, yeah, at the same time, I'm going to show you my... Uh, See a bit experiments for this year. That's cookie. All right, so I hope it's not windy too much. So I put some uh, potatoes there. And these, you know, just I guess dig a little hole in your compost and just put the potatoes in like that. Make sure the seaweed is snug around them like that. Yeah, they're gonna be all right, I guess. Uh, so, what else do I have in my, uh, I guess, seaweed experiment this year? Well, I got some cucumbers and I forgot to water them, so I need to get on that ASAP. Oh yeah, and I planted them uh, under my apple tree, because the, I guess I'm growing some squashes and cucumbers, so they need mostly, um, I guess, not as much sun as they could get. Uh, some more uh, cucumbers, these are a smaller version. And look! <clears throat> I got a little zucchini growing, and yeah, this is one zucchini and two zucchini. Uh, and this is where the only place I got zucchinis this year, because uh, well, again, you know, too much sun and dry conditions uh, don't seem to agree with zucchinis here. And you know, I guess the rest is pretty good. Like I said, I need to do some weeding. This one, this is where I grew my rocket and my uh, spinach, so it's mostly rocket and seaweed. <laughs> Alright, this is a greenhouse. Look at that romaine lettuce. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's the size of my hand. And you know, I've checked like deep within the leaves, and it doesn't show any sign of it um, starting to bolt. I guess. Oh, look at that. There's two plants in this, in this one. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm going to be eating romaine lettuce for a while before it starts to bolt, which is pretty great. Uh, tomato plants would have been growing like crazy. I guess there are some suckers in there that I should be cutting. Yeah, you see that one? That's a sucker. There's another sucker right there. I guess they grow like uh, between the trunk and the leaves. You know, that's a leaf, that's the trunk, and there's a sucker. And if you live in a warm climate, you know, they're just going to grow and grow and grow. And you're going to get more tomatoes out of your plant. But if you, uh, you live like me where the season is uh, kind of short, well, what it's going to do, it's going to suck out energy of your plants. Because, you know, I'm not sure if you can see here. Yeah, it's really small, but the suckers will actually uh, end up producing tomatoes. But you know, over here they uh, they don't get a chance to. They'll just, uh, I guess, yeah, I'll do that later on. <laughs> I guess, ow! They'll just take out the um, energy for your plant to grow tomatoes over here. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today. I don't think I have anything more to show you. Hey, look at this, it's finally raining! Yeah, I guess it's uh, it's a bit much, but you know what? I'm gonna take it anyway because uh, everything needed rain. <laughs> See you, everybody.